Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to the video for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. My name is Vinice HDN. This video is sponsored by Square Enix. In this video, I'm going to break down how to use Yuffie, explaining her starting abilities and how to use them in combat, and her best starting folios and materia. If you're new here, please be so kind and drop a sub to the channel, but only if the information in this video is helpful to you. Alright, so I'm just going to say it like this. Yuffie is one of the most powerful characters in the game. She has a bunch of abilities that are kind of broken. She has two forms of basic attacks, melee attacks that can be done on the ground or in the air, and ranged attacks that are a function of her throwing weapon. On the ground, Yuffie has a short square spam combo that ends with her launching her target up and slamming them back down. You can hold square at any point in time during this combo to perform a maneuver that lands an attack on the locked on target that also jumps Yuffie out of their melee range. This is perfect for setting up for her ranged weapons attack. For her ranged attacks, you press triangle and that throws her weapon at a locked on target. Once her weapon is out there, it will continuously damage that target with a small damage over time tick. While her weapon is out damaging a target, Yuffie can either flash step to the weapon by pressing and holding triangle to perform aerial melee combat with repeated square attacks, or she can continue attacking from where she stands, dealing greater non-elemental damage to the locked on target by spamming square. This attack can become elemental if you have an ATB charge and you select the elemental ninjutsu in her abilities, either ice, fire, wind, or lightning. If you hold square while her weapon is out damaging a locked on target, she does a short range attack that travels along the ground in three lines to damage nearby targets. The center line travels directly for your locked on target and damages it upon impact as well as pulls it towards Yuffie. This also returns Yuffie's weapon to her. This attack is not very effective against airborne enemies though. The more weapons that you collect with Yuffie, the wider her variety of abilities becomes. She starts with two abilities, Art of War and Brumal Form. Art of War is an offensive ability that launches Yuffie into a series of melee attacks. This skill can be done on the ground or in the air and you must be close to your intended target to land this attack. Art of War grants a temporary buff to Yuffie that makes all of her other attacks a little bit stronger, indicated by a sort of violet aura that appears around her character. It also transforms Art of War into a new ability called Supreme Art of War that deals increased damage. Supreme Art of War can also be done while airborne, though getting hit will end the Art of War buff. Brumal Form is a defensive ability that you can use when you have an ATB bar that teleports Yuffie out of danger when she is about to be attacked. You can use this skill at any time whether or not Yuffie is about to be attacked. It teleports her a short range in any direction of your choosing by holding the left analog stick the way that you want her to go. It also refunds a portion of ATB back to Yuffie. The next ability that Yuffie learns is called Windstorm. It has two different functionalities. When Yuffie is in possession of her weapon and she uses Windstorm, it creates an AOE area of effect wind attack centered on Yuffie that damages nearby targets. When her weapon is out of her possession and damaging a target and she uses Windstorm, it acts as a powerful pull and drags the locked on enemy towards Yuffie. You get this ability from her twin Viper weapon. Blindside is one of her more powerful abilities. With this skill, you can essentially counterattack an enemy even after you've been hit. So let's say you're in the middle of comboing a target and you get attacked from the side and your combo gets interrupted. If you have an ATB charge, you can use Blindside even as you're stuck in the animation for being hit. Yuffie will instantly snap out of the hit animation and attack the locked on target. This attack doesn't have to be a counterattack and can be done whenever you like, even while Yuffie is in the air. Yuffie learns this ability from the Savage Dagger weapon. Midway into the game, Chapter 9 in the Gungaga region, Yuffie can find a weapon called Bird of Prey and from it you learn Doppelganger. This skill allows Yuffie to perform a Shadow Clone Jutsu and she receives a copy of herself that mimics her every move. You can cast this skill while airborne, though it does have a long startup animation. It lasts for about 2 minutes and is indicated by a green leaf above Yuffie's name in her status bar at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So when it comes to using Yuffie in a fight, there's absolutely no way around it. You need to use shortcuts. Shortcuts are skills that are linked to the L1 button by X, square, circle, and triangle and perform an action on the fly. You can set shortcuts in the main menu by selecting combat settings. You can set skills separately for the ground or the air. Blindside and Brumal Form are must-haves for both ground and air shortcuts. It helps to have them in the same slots for ground and air. For Yuffie's folios, the best ones to get are Master Thief and Faithful Thief along with Luck Up. These three work well with weapon upgrades from her 4-point shuriken weapon that applies bravery to Yuffie after successfully stealing. 
opening ATB, precision defense ATB, and elemental damage up are also basic folios that Yuffie needs. Now, the best materia for Yuffie in the early game is Steel, HP and MP up, Speed up, Luck up, Vitality up, ATB stagger, Precision defense focus, Steadfast blocking, First strike, Time, Barrier, and Fortification. Also, she can be pretty devastating with enemy skill and plasma discharge. And one final thing that needs to be said about Yuffie is the Mug ability. It comes with the Steel Materia. You can use Mug while airborne and it refunds some of Yuffie's ATB when it successfully lands, regardless of if you were able to steal something or not. The Yellow Steel Material is an essential part of Yuffie's kit and should never be taken off of her. How to use Yuffie in combat will probably take a little bit of practice, specifically the fine-tuned Brumal form because you really have to time it just right and pick her teleportation direction perfectly. But even if you fail, you can still use Blindside to quickly get back into fighting. Start off any fight with her using her ranged ninjutsu, then once you have at least one ATB charge, hold triangle and quickly flash step to your target so you can start your melee attacks. Make smart uses of regular dodges and try not to spam abilities. You want to have ATB charges so you can use Brumal Form to avoid getting hit or blindside when you get blindsided by an attack you didn't see coming. It's absolutely necessary to use shortcuts when fighting as Yuffie in particular so you can get off some of her nastiest combos and avoid getting hit on the fly. So like if you are in the middle of aerial combat with something, throw a few melee attacks, use circle to dodge incoming melee attacks if you see them coming, and mostly for magical attacks that have tracking, that's when you want to use Brumal Form. If there is no way to dodge a melee attack if you're in the air, again, use Brumal Form. On the ground, try and use her perfect block as much as possible because of her folio skill, Precision Defense ATB. That fills her ATB gauge after perfect blocking. This works hand in hand with Precision Defense Focus Materia that gives you a wider timing window for blocking attacks. Perfect blocking attacks, I should say. All right, so that's gonna be it for this Yuffie breakdown video. If it was helpful, I'd really appreciate a sub to the channel and a like on the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. My name is Vinny I wanna say thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.